Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, thanks so much for uh, clicking on my video. It's good to read the comments. I'm getting comments from uh, people from Australia and all around the world, that, which is really cool and very encouraging when you're out here doing these uh, YouTube videos because sometimes you just don't know if anybody's watching, so that, that's really cool. Also, a lot of my subscribers are females too, which is which is very nice. Uh, today, uh, today I'm heading out to. Um, actually, we're going down to Edmund Street right here in Las Vegas, and we're going to the house that an Elvis tribute artist and his girlfriend was found dead in. Uh, this is October the second, nineteen ninety-three. And the reason why I remember that, it was on a Saturday. Some things I can remember, but uh, that was a long time ago. Uh, and, and nowadays I can't remember things that happened two weeks ago. But it was on a Saturday, and uh, when, when I got to the office that day, I noticed in the parking lot that... Uh, channel 8 was there, Channel 3, uh, Channel 13, and they had these vans with antennas that went straight up in the air, several feet, uh, very unusual, and I'm wondering, what in the world is going on? You know, what's going on? Uh, so it turns out, uh, again, October 2nd, 93, that's the day, that's the morning, they found Dane and his girlfriend uh, dead in the home. So we'll drive by, uh, see what it looks like today. And then after that, we'll head over to the cemetery and visit the gravesite, gravesite location at Mary Hoffman, the girlfriend. Okay, now we're at 3624 Edmund Street. Uh, this was Minnie Graceland. My office was right over there. See that blue roof? The blue roof. That's where my insurance office was October the 2nd, 1993. Uh, this is quite a house. I think it's a rental property now. I'll put a link in the uh, description that shows the inside of this house. And I think they're renting it for $16,000 a month. right at these doors just inside these doors right here uh, the bodies were found Dana McKay and Mary Linda Huffman so what happened was they came home from the grocery store and when he entered the home uh, they were attacked. They were shot. I think Dana was shot seven times and uh, Mary Huffman shot once in back of the head. As soon as I got home from the grocery store. Really nice home. Dana was good with his hands. When he bought this property, he was a fixer-upper. And uh, he was making improvements on it, doing the work himself. Uh, pay close attention. We'll talk about these pine tree or palm trees a little bit later in the video. 
there are several palm trees around the property and these puppies are very expensive by the way uh, by the way when I see this it doesn't scare me because I'm not trespassing because I would be if I was on the other side of this but since I'm on this side it's freedom I straight out the back window where Dana had his recording studio he can see the Las Vegas Strip uh, this is where he came up with the idea to approach the city to put to put uh, palm trees up and down the strip he read where the city wanted to uh, uh, beautify the strip and he came up with a grand idea Okay, we're here to pay our respects to Mary Linda Huffman. Uh, Dana McKay's buried in Fresno. So we'll visit with uh, Mary or Linda today. She went by Linda, was what her friends called her. But I want to talk about Dana a little bit more. Um, he was an Elvis tribute artist. He didn't like to be called an Elvis impersonator. Uh, in fact, he was trying to get away uh, from doing the Elvis thing. So he started this business, a landscaping business. And uh, once that got going, he had plans on uh, doing that, uh, you know, for a career. Now, you ever notice, uh, I'm going to talk to, to uh, country fans now. You ever notice that um, a lot of people can do Willie Nelson and Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Conway Twitty, but nobody can do George Jones. And that's sim similarly with Elvis. Hard to, uh, it's hard to imitate him. But Dana came pretty close. I saw him at, in the Legends in concert at the Imperial Palace. Did a fine job. Pretty, pretty close. Uh, Dana originally started out at the Dunes, uh, but they tore that down. So then he moves across street 
and he did well at uh, Legends in concert. He had Marilyn Monroe, uh, uh, other acts there. Uh, I did see him, uh, really, really good. So I mentioned the palm trees earlier when we were over there at his house. Uh, he, he was working on getting a contract for uh, the city of Las Vegas to put palm trees up and down the strip in some areas of downtown Las Vegas and then uh, they're working on uh, uh, putting bids in on putting palm trees in parks too. So Dana had the inside track because the city council loved him. He's a local guy. Uh, city council just loved Elvis, a lot of those guys. And you'd see him at the shows often. Uh, plus Dana had a uh, contact in California where he can buy the palm trees at a really good price, a steep discount. So he had the in inside track to picking up the, con the, the contract. But one problem, he didn't have the capital to buy the equipment uh, to, the, to do the job. He needed $100,000. So he recruits a friend of his. The friend, his name is Tim Stone Street, a local businessman, a car dealer. He also owns a construction company here. And they form a partnership. But they had a falling out because Dana felt like that Tim was only interested to, to get his expertise on the, on the uh, palm tree business and wanted to learn who his source was to buy the uh, palm trees at a steep discount. So anyway, they ended up going to court and right during this time, uh, Dana is found dead. Dana and Linda Huffman. So you would naturally think that it was the ex-business partner. But Tim uh, Stone Street's cleared of any wrongdoing. Now originally they thought, the police thought that uh, when Linda and Dana uh, arrived at home with the groceries, they, they were thinking that they walked in on a burglary. But that wasn't the case because the only thing that was missing is a manila envelope. That's the only thing. There's lots of money, jewelry, valuables inside the home. Nothing was missing. Dana's wallet was still on him. Linda's purse was still next to her. The only thing missing was a manila envelope. Now, why is that gone? Well, it's known according to uh, Dana's friends, that he kept everything valuable to him in that manila folder, the file. Um, passwords, uh, um, financial records. That's the only thing that was missing. That's all. So, it's a code case today. I tried to contact a Las Vegas Metropolitan Police about this case and they wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't give me any information because it's a cold case. Well, here we are.
Mary Linda Huffman. Uh, she's from Texas. If you ever heard her talk, she had that really sweet uh, southern accent. Uh, she was the love of Dana's life. And uh, she's a former Mrs. Nevada. Mrs. Nevada. Now to win that, you have to be as pretty on the inside as you are on the outside. Uh, Dana just flipped over her. She's 12 years older than Dana. Uh, she had a uh, second-hand store, a very high-end second-hand store, store called uh, The Encore, located down the road here. Had a pretty good business in her own right. Linda Huffman. Everyone needs to be remembered.